Guys, we have a serious problem. Look at all these cards. None of this is gonna fit in my suitcase. None of it. The highest graded LeBron RPA here in person. Absolutely. You got security here, so don't run away. Don't run away. We cannot run. We will not, not be running. Run. You know what's funny? I've never held this card before. Yeah. My hand's like so. kind of shaking. It's crazy. <laughs> what is this card worth? Well, right now it's currently live on auction. It's uh, at 1.3 million. Don't be surprised if it hits 2.2, 2.5 in this auction. So we might have a brand new record. He's going for the scoring title. So it's a good time to buy this card. And aesthetically, in my opinion, it's one of the best ones out there. You feel like hold uh, around $2 million in your hand. $2 million? I'm it's in shock right now. Man. Right there. Let's go. Look at this. Armin, what, what do you what do you think? Let me kiss. No, no, no. <laughs> Look at this. I've never been this close. I know. This is sick. That's pretty cool. Welcome to the last day of the vlog. We're gonna go drop all this stuff at the post office and then I'm going to the show for the last day. I fly out at around two o'clock, so I got a good two hours of show time today, but we gotta ship a lot of this stuff home. Some of this stuff is from Indiana too. The closest post office is seven miles away, so we didn't go there. We got Conan, <laughs> got Zane here, Look at all that stuff. On, huh? So our plan is to go to the show and just get, get our worth. We got some breakfast. It was not crazy about the coffee, so I actually had to go back to a DC Diet Coke. And uh, we're gonna go to the show today. Let's hope for a good day. Football season, go Packers. Look at all these cars, we're sitting in the line. Guys, it's a jujitsu tournament. Don't get, don't get too crazy here. Look at this. There's a jujitsu tournament taking over this place. All right, we're gonna see if Conan can pull this off. What are you gonna tell her? That we're with a celebrity and... No, dude, you don't say that. <laughs> Tell her that uh, we're set up at the card show. See if we're they vendors. give us free parking. I don't know where my wallet is actually. No. If not, I'll pay it. All right, here you go. Good luck. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see your skills. Hello. Hi, how are you? We're vendors for the card show. Okay. We still have it. Didn't work. It didn't work. I feel like you were going for a Luka Doncic base there. <laughs> We should have been going for the got, hyper out of 42. And I got a Marvin Bagley base since then. Yeah. It's all right, we'll take it. All right, we're gonna go to the show. We met yesterday and I will sign that. But they brought, what is this bread called? Uh, taro bread. Taro bread. Taro, yeah, taro marble bread. Taro marble bread. Look at this. Let's try it. It's good. Hey, brother. Heck yeah. That's a lamello ball. All right, watch this. Two Lamello's number one fan. Have you ever seen him play? Yeah, on TV. Oh, you gotta go to a game. One of one. Del Mar. Hey, it was great seeing you. This, this, this guy's. Wow, bro. Oh, yeah. Here, show this dude. You pulled those? Nah, I did it. I just bought it. Just... Hey! Oh, still got the box. Man. Still got the box and everything. Oh, did you get him to sign it? No, I forgot. I just, I saw him yesterday. But here we go. That's sick. It's gold. It's gold. How much, are, have... hey, how much are these? I don't uh, know. Last comp was, uh, what, I think 6,000? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are sick. The mode of D is trying to get that. He's not Filipino, but I'll make it. Unfortunately. <laughs> what about this? Why do you want this? I didn't start it, sought after it. Hey guys, my guy. It's a beautiful card. What do you like about this card? It's his rookie year. It's star date. It's one of the most coveted inserts. You ready to be shocked? Wow. He's not shocked. Oh, I'm not shocked. Guys, we're not. He's not messing around. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Isaiah Thomas. Oh my gosh. So these are all like between one and three. Was that what you were expecting? Yeah, because I've never like wiped them down or anything. And these have been 
open when I was like 15 years old. That's crazy. And I've held them ever since. Dude, when I was 15, I was buying Robert Griffin the <laughs> Third. Whoa, these are cool. Wow. Give me your show. Oh, dude, thank you. <laughs> yeah. is she a collector? Yeah, she's gonna be one. What, what is she like? Oh, she uh, she's almost two years old, so she doesn't know yet. But she doesn't know yet. There. She's All right, well, there. let's get her some of these baseball kids. Oh, back. awesome! Thank hey, look, you. we got some stuff Here, for you. Penelope. She's in the. She's having breakfast right she's now. She's having breakfast right now. Look, B. Look, Want to see what cards. Halliburton. Robert Wooder, purple. Terrence Davis. He's such a nice guy. Rogers. Rogers. Oh, it's sick. Rogers. Oh, out of, out of 25. Dude, thank you, bro. Yeah, you got it, bud. Hey, yeah, nice you. to meet you. You too, man. <laughs> this is sick, bro. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a Vikings fan, so I have no use oh for it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, the Vikings look good. Uh, yeah, we're winning barely, but we'll take it. Yeah. Any, any win's a win. You know, you are what your record says you are. Yeah, exactly. Justin Jefferson, beast. Carlos Alcarez. You know, I have that, but I didn't have it on you. Hey, Steven, do you know who that is? Carlo. No, I don't. Yeah. Isn't he up and coming? Yeah. Up he's, and coming guy? He's pretty good. How chic. What's up? Tell me about this we'll card. Okay. All right. This is, this is the next Nadal. Uh, I think he plays like a combination of Federer and Joker. So he is probably the fastest player I've ever seen on a tennis court, ever. Uh, as long as he stays healthy, I think he's going to win multiple majors. But... Um, if you want to talk about prices, like, he's too expensive right now. That's my honest opinion. So let it come down? It's going to come down. What about Coco Golf? Uh, she has to win. The thing is with him, he's at least one. So if I compare him to basketball, he's like Giannis in basketball because this guy's one. And he's going to keep winning. Man right here, Ruthie in sports. You guys have seen this guy at the shows. He has some of the best memorabilia. You and Jason, man, punch for punch. Why don't you pull this out? Tell me about the Houdini. Oh Her my. Harry Houdini. So, what's Graded this? Gem Mint 10. What's the story on this? Bought a collection. I mean, it was signed in what, 1925. I think he died in 28, if I remember. How much do you want for this? 30 ish. Thousand? Yeah. How rare is this? Half cash, trade, cards, mantle, Ruth, Cobb. This is your favorite one out of everything you right have. Right now. What's the second? No, that's not my favorite. What's your favorite? I collect Ruth and Cobb, so at What's, home. They're at home. What about the favorite in the showcase besides this? What do you got? I love the Clemente. Clemente? Beautiful Why the Clemente? Auto. Look at the auto. Was that an early, early autograph? You've seen a lot of Clementes. They're always sloppy, ugly. When do you think he signed that? Babe Ruth. How much is that? 9500 That's not bad. These mantles are the mantle, sick. The Clemente is on a uh, Roberto Clemente Day program. So you stick mainly to vintage. You don't do a lot of this modern stuff. Why? Why do you stick to like the vintage? What's What's the appeal? Holds its value. People love the goats. Mantle, Ruth, Cobb, Walter Johnson, DiMaggio. You know, I like vintage. You like vintage. All right. Your top three baseball players of all time in order, who are they? Cobb, Ruth, I don't know. Those two. Do you put Mantle in the top five? No. What? Not, not top five. Where do you put Mantle at? I mean, home run, home run guy or, or all around player, Willie Mays. Willie Mays. Willie Mays. All right, where can they find you at? Ruthian Sports. Ruthian Phoenix, Sports. Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. Flipping the coin. 50 or $100. 50 to $100. Hey, you want to flip the coin? You flip like that, the play on. Like that. Yes, oh, yeah, that's so. a better one. Mewtwo. Mewtwo yeah. is the heads. Okay. All right, what are you taking? Hey, wait, wait, heads. Ready? Okay, go heads, okay? Ready? Go, ready? Okay, you're gonna go. have a video. Okay? As high as you can. As go. high as you can. Go, go high. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. How, hey, how long have you been collecting? 40 years. It, it, with stocks, it's going to go up or down too. Cards are going to always go up or down too. So the more you have access to cards will only help it in the long run. And that's a big thing with these channels that like you have. 
uh, you're trying to get your, your name recognition, your marketing strategies out there. So the more, the merrier in my opinion. I understand the game has changed and it's about how quick we can flip a little bit or make a little bit. That generation is, is changing. So rather than be obtuse to the whole new idea, jump on board, see where you're at. You know, I have enough material or I guess you could say cards to where I can let a few things go and not be that partial or attached to it. But I'm just trying to get involved. Uh, people are good here. It's always a fun, jovial atmosphere. And that's what it comes down to, is just having fun for a weekend. Yeah. Show me, like, some. what are some of your favorite cards in this cigar case? They're all favorites and stuff, but these are just stuff that I'm okay with willing to partial. Yeah. We all know about what, what happened to him, right? Like, I remember when I got that card and I just got the world, right? Because it was Andrew Luck. And so dude, what were you what, thinking when you got this card? And, like, uh, wow, I finally got an Andrew Luck. Luck. I finally got it, you know, because I everything you see here was pulled. I didn't buy it. Like I said, I was a collector first. Everything I pulled out of a box that you see. You just said case hit 2016. There's going to be people in like 10 years that are say, oh, this was a case hit in 2022 from the select. I mean, this is a nice little card, that 5 of 5. That was a redemption card, a Macklin card. He was and big. He was big in the time. Um, I got a Dallas fan that wanted this, so I brought it and I went home and did that. He's like, I always wanted that card, and I'm not, I'm basically going to give it away for him to him. And then this was pulled out of that 2012, that Mike Trout second year. That's an SSB. Tell them about a hobby box between 2010 and 2017, or 2016, before Mahomes. A little context how much here. For, how much for a hobby box? This is what, I'm a set collector first. I have almost a thousand sets in pages and four inch binders. So I was, like I said, back in the day, I was more of a collector first and, and set builder. So this is a rem remnants of my, you know, stuff you get out of boxes. I stopped in 2017 buying hobby boxes because I wanted to make sure I didn't let my sets go to waste. So I was spending the last few years, pandemic, whatnot, filling my sets, getting all these cards so that these sets, even though they're not of value, I want them. It's the puzzle aspect that I wanted to finish. He came from the same, you, you collected before me, but I started during that Andrew Luck kind of 2011. So like when you talk about it, I remember it so yeah. well. That's, so like that's where we connect versus like I didn't enter this hobby in the last five years. I entered this hobby like almost 10, 15 years ago. And you identify with always you will always remember that specific BGS, year. Yes, here's what a time like BGS was better than PSA. Nobody graded cards yeah, really. Nobody. Rookie cards were worthless. Andrew Luck was an RG3 were like three, four hundred, five hundred dollars like autograph. Crazy, crazy. So like how I got my spreadsheets, this is this is just my PC collection. Oh my There's a tab there for every for everything that you could ever imagine from 2001. Everything's identified by color, by year, everything there. That's just a PC collection. Then if you wanted to go to something like all my sets, this is every set, like I said, no I way. had. Oh, so here. every set, when you look at it like this, the price to the side there on the right, every set, if there's numbers on here, I need those numbers still. So each folder has seven sets. That's folder 97. Uh, this is folder 98. There's five sets in there. So how many of the cards do I have the full set? Do I just have the, the base set? Do I have the rookies? So you go down, it just goes on and on. Last question. For someone that's entering the hobby brand new, and like, I always say this, you can be a flipper, you can be a collector, an investor, or you can be all three. I'm all three, bro. I flip stuff to keep stuff. What advice do you have for someone entering the hobby right now? Be careful what you buy because the market is volatile. If you're going to buy something heavy, make sure like you hear from you yourself, Mojo, people talking, just be responsible with it. It could be like anything. It could be addicting. It can be habitual. Just have fun with it. First of all, look at it. In my opinion, look at it for a hobby first, everything else second. Because when you care about something, you're willing to do a lot for it, whether it's people or a product or a job or health or what. So just look at it from like that standpoint and don't put too much stock into, oh, I'm gonna get this back because all you can do is let yourself down. I don't have any social networks because like I said, I'm just getting into like trading and stuff like that. So. Unfortunately, you have to see this, this, this mug that you're looking at. I'm more of a radio face than I am a TV face. So, um, with the voice and whatnot. And, but for right now, see me. I, I'm in San Diego, America's finest city. And uh, you know, come by, say hey when we have card shows. But for the most part, 
That's where I'm at. All right. Thanks Thank for your you, time, Mojo. Yeah. Guys, I have to go from the show, but I met Felix. And it's your first card show? Yeah. First card show ever. So I got this. I'm going to give you this as I leave, but here's a Kobe Bryant. 1998. Whoa. Okay, show it. Show it. There. Yeah, hold That's it. That's for you, buddy. Then, should I get? Okay. Go try to trade that for something else, or if you like Kobe, keep it. Yeah, then I keep it. Say so thank you. Thank you. Thing. Yeah, see you later, man. Dude, you guys are the best. Oh my gosh, they're gonna throw it. A lot of ton of stuff, guys. Some cool Durant numbers, some Jordans, some Kobe's. These are my colleagues, and my workers for the day. Appreciate you guys. Personal Uber. Personal Uber, helper. Free labor. Free labor. We gotta ship all these cards home. Bro, it's easy. Easy money. This guy's a natural. Sports card direct. Easy money. Dope dot cards. San Jose sports cards. Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it right. Finally. <laughs> Picked up so much stuff. We're gonna be doing some live sales. So if you guys want to check out my whatnot, use the link down below. You get your first ten dollars spend. Go follow all these guys on Instagram. Dope dot card sports card direct with a Z. With a Z. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment down below who is the biggest buy in basketball right now because I need to find somebody to buy. Anthony Simons. Coming back. I'm calling Tyrese Maxey. I'll talk to you guys later. The hobby's alive. The experience is what you make it. And these are the boys, so appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.